Not that it's gonna matter, because you won't be able to see me in this first person game. Yes, it's apparently as dark as you can go. I'm a Breton for the purpose of this video. Now, let's see. Quick and. Yeah, I decided to go with a battle mage setup. I'll show you that in a moment. Tone. Nah, not changing any of that. Look my skin. Yep, see? Yeah. Skin, shade, dark light. That's as dark as you can go. Which is weird considering what they did to the lips and the <laughs> eyes. Oh yeah, well. I guess we'll split the difference. Alright, let's go back. And the hair, we're not going to worry about that too much. Again, you're never going to see this. You're never going to see this character's face again, let's be honest. There's a complexion. Huh, I think the face changed. I don't think the complexion's changing. Yes, I want to be a Breton. Okay, edit the birth sign. I am a mage. That's been established. And the class. I said I was going to be a battle mage, which, like in Skyrim, allows me to use projectile attacks and heal myself. The problem that I had with this game compared to Skyrim is that in this game, it is very difficult to see your enemies in it, from a distance, and it's very hard to target them. So melee combat's really sort of janky in this game. And I'll show you that if I end up fighting somebody. I can make a custom class, but I'll probably end up canceling that. Let's say, for instance, I want to do magic. Strength. I didn't check to see which ones I wanted. Intelligence means magicka. And not security, light armor. Hopefully I can get some magic spells that do the work of armor. Endurance. Yeah, that might be useful. Okay, seven major skills. Not alchemy so much, but probably... Conjuration, I suppose. Destruction, definitely. Restoration, absolutely. So I'll start at level 25, apprentice level in each one. Okay. Just be solicited, listener, to like and trust you. Let's see, it's not security. Mysticism. I forget if that's important. <laughs> okay, uh, marksman, no illusion. Yeah, see if I can spam that. Because you know how it is. You can always break games by leveling up your character a certain way. Hand to hand, nope. Destruction, yep. Conjuration, yep. And uh, swim faster. Regenerate lost fatigue faster sounds interesting, but we'll get to that. Cast spells, uh, alteration. Yeah, I think I'm, not gonna, I think I'm probably going to need that for some uh, armor spells. Okay, is that it? Let me go. Let me turn that one off. Okay, armor. No. So what do I want? Probably athletics or something else. Mercantile. That might be useful, actually. Give me more money over time. Yeah, we'll set that one up for now. Okay. Uh, choose a name for the class. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll keep this simple. T. Mage. Whatever. We'll call it that one. So let's compare this to a, a battle mage. Magic, intelligence, endurance, and the alteration. So what about... Huh, so I did all of that. What do the battle mage do? Strength and intelligence. Okay, we're not going to worry so much about strength yet. We'll work on strength eventually. Because in Skyrim, I didn't need to worry about strength after a while because it was pretty much just about um, protecting myself with magic and firing spells and conjuring at least. So protecting myself with healing spells and armor and conjuring beasts that would fight for me. Yes, I'll be a team mage. Okay, we done with this. We're ready to go. 
So once the game's done loading, we'll be in the overworld finally. I did a video without commentary where I just kind of walked around through the tutorial area, which is basically just me leaving a prison and going through sewers. Not very interesting, to be brutally honest. So I decided to do the good stuff now. <laughs> okay. So now, of course, I'm going to save my game here. It's my ground zero save, now that I've left the vault. Sorry, the sewers. <laughs> Wrong Bethesda game. Okay, so I'm in trouble, because I'm eventually, I'm essentially going to need to find a way to save. I can save my game anywhere. Okay, so where's my red? Oh, yeah. The red compass points me towards where I need to go. Music in this game actually is very good, but what I want to be able to do is... Uh, review the MP3s that I got from the Oblivion PC disc that I own, yet doesn't work because it's eaten to crap. By the way, how do I get to my map? I can't wait when enemies are nearby, so we're already off to a roaring start. Um, can't press up or down. That's crouching. Just a second. Let's see if I can get that map figured out. Because I forgot which button it is. Just a second. Oh, sorry, that was magic. Anyway. Options. Controls. X. Okay, not something I'm going to be able to use. Alright. You know what that means. Inventory. There we go. Uh, I can zoom out. Don't remember how. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I have a marker. Of course, I don't know where anything is. So what point or purpose does it serve? Oh well, pick a direction, any direction. You know, it would be nice if I could zoom out. There we go. Just have to press the left stick to uh, zoom in to the wider map. So I guess that means I'm headed towards this location. What's this? The Imperial Prison? That's where I was. Huh. You know what? I technically could go north of here and see where it takes me. <laughs> Imperial City Market. So I guess Imperial City is where I ultimately need to go. Oh, I can actually travel there right away. Wow, I can travel there right off the bat. So can I go back? Well, good thing I saved my game. <laughs> so I'll be able to figure out how to get north. So I'll do some light exploring. If this game's anything like uh, the other Bethesda games, like Skyrim and Fallout, the game gets more dangerous the more the more I level up, because the enemies level up with you. Let me put my sword away. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, I'll switch to the third person view. At least for this part of the game. Okay, so where am I going? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I guess I'll just explore and look for fast travel points. Do I really need anything at this point in the game? I have a little I've I have a bit of money. Yeah, it's like I came here with a plan or anything. Where's my log? It's over the amulet. Oh, I have to go to Wynon Priori. The city of something or other, okay. So that gives me something to do. But if I don't want to do it, I don't have to. Remember, this is oblivion. Okay. So I have to go ultimately... Uh, wow. I need to go all the way over there, huh? That's rough, dude. Well, welcome to oblivion. There's a bridge over there. I'm wondering if there's a way I can get through this. Yeah, I can swim over here. Alright. So is that the marker? X. Uh, leave it. See, let me see if I can set the marker here. Yeah, that's my marker. Okay, never mind. So what do I want to do at this point? I can do anything I want, so... I can explore. Can I fast travel here? Probably can. Okay, it looks like I can. So that'll save me a lot of trouble. 
So I can fast travel to those points, I suppose, and then kind of explore in between. Okay. Just the, that's always the thing about these games. Like, where do I go? What do I do? Well, in Skyrim, it's like you have the guys like, follow me to this town. Where there's a guy where there's a blacksmith and stuff. Well, in this game, well, same principle. Go there. Yeah, I don't want to get myself into trouble. But I guess the expectation is that I would ultimately make my way in that direction. But I would stop in the Imperial City. So that worked out. Okay. Stables. I always take the stables. Alright. So I don't have to explore that way. I just want to see where I can fast travel. Okay, so I'll explore Imperial City for a bit. I'll do more exploring later. Although technically, I guess I could just fast travel there. So I'll tell you what, here's a secret. Current quest. Active quest. Yeah. I witnessed Emperor Uriel of Zetson's Free. Someone named Joffrey, okay, so yeah, that guy. Map. Sorry, wrong one. I'll work this out using the right stick to move the map around. Can I fast travel here? Yes, I can. Well, it saves me a bunch of trouble then. I don't have to fast travel. This is a Bethesda game. You might as well fast travel. I don't know if this operates the same way as Skyrim, because I remember in Skyrim, basically you couldn't fast travel anywhere until you actually visited it on foot. So in that game, you wanted to explore because that determined where you could fast travel later if you wanted or needed to. No enemies here, so we're good. Yep, quest updated. Of course, it's going to be a fun little meta game for all the game music fans to figure out what songs in this game sound like songs in Skyrim. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not going to steal this crap. And no one's here anyway, so i got to leave. And the music's got to reload. <laughs> wow. Well. Games aren't perfect. Now they're prefetching. So I need to go into that house. Yeah, I need to go into that house. I'll do that in a second. There won't be any combat or anything. I guess these are the stables. Uh, I'm looking at the box. Someone said that this is the best game they've ever, the best looking game they've ever seen. And I got, I got, I, no. Even if you just mention, you know, 3D stuff. I mean, I, I, no. Maybe in 2005 it was a big deal, but even then. That, bring, that brings up a question I'm going to have to answer at some other point. I'm going to speak to Joffrey. Okay. Especially after Skyrim. I mean, Skyrim looked good, but I mean, it didn't look like... I mean, did it look as good as Just Cause 2? Well, I mean, no, but Just Cause 2 is like four years after this game, right? Okay, I'm not going to steal this crap. Where's Joffrey? Did he run away? He ran away. No, oh, he's over here. There he is. He's sitting down, so he can't run away. I guess that keeps him from wandering off and breaking the game. <laughs> you know, bugs. Well, I can give Joffrey the amulet. Well. Yeah, don't get me started on these Oblivion gates. <laughs> Apparently they never stop spawning. So, you don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Maybe for experience, but you don't want to go down that rabbit hole. It's probably like a bit of radiant questing. Where the game just randomly spawns infinitely occurring events that you can complete if you choose. Crown to use the Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Existence. Yep. Illegitimate son, so to accept the throne, okay, fine. 
Where can I find his son? Why, Ian? Yeah. In the city of Kvat. You must go to Kvat and find him at once. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. Well, money, experience, spells, that'd be nice. Wow, it's gonna be a thing. Yes. Boris told you right. This music is sick, dudes, I'm telling you. Jeremy Sewell on point. Okay, I'm not interested in the exposition dub. Let's just keep, just give me a quest, or give me something that I can use for experience or something. Not interested in the in the lore dub. It's not that kind of channel. Wait, is he, is he leaving? Okay, assistant. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can get. Okay. So I guess we'll let you keep that. I wonder if I could sell it. <laughs> Remember, keep the kind of, keep the kind of game this is. I might be able to sell it. I'm supposed to be able to take stuff from this chest. Yeah, so he opened the chest for me. So I'm no longer stealing. Yeah. So he unlocked it, so I won't be stealing it anymore. <laughs> cool. See? So that's why I got it from the seat. I'll take everything. Take all of the things. Actually, I can't. I wonder if this chest respawns. Okay, but I got what I need as far as the other weapons. So I can sell some of this other crap. Let me get some arrows, by the way. Yeah, I'm taking them all. Alright. Don't need heavy armor yet. I will later, but just not yet. Do you already have curious? I gotta sell crap. Sorry. Probably got to do all that offline. But I'll tell you what, I'll go to a store so I can see how much stuff is worth. And I'll come back here, um, grab all this crap, sell it for money, and buy better crap. Because, you know, oblivion. Okay. Let's see if we can skip the lore dump. So it was worth it to talk to that guy upstairs because he opened his treasure chest for me. So, you know. Ah, I got something. So he opened a warp to the west or something. Bye. Okay, I'm not going to take it. Okay, so you can pause the video if you want to read all that. <laughs> uh, speaking of a lore dump. Oh, thanks. Okay. So I'll be able to use a horse if I want to. I'll check with him in a second. So these guys trust me so I can eat all this stuff, right? <laughs> well, I'll come back for that. It's probably just food in here. Yeah. If if Skyrim taught me anything, barrels and barrels only hold food and usually bookshelves only hold books. I can't steal that meat, but I can take all the other meat. But it's a monastery, so it's technically not stealing, right? <laughs> Well, they'll let me steal. They'll let me take other stuff. They won't let me take that. No comment. Is this where I can keep my crap? Yeah, I'm allowed to take that. Yeah, I'll take all those. Thank you. Don't think I'm going to need the shears. I'll come back if I really need them. Let's be honest. Sleeping. Very important in this game, right? I'm not going to steal that robe. Uh, is this technically stealing? Well, there's nothing here I want, so I guess. So I'm not going to steal it because I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, forget the whole morality in a monastery thing. Just, <laughs> I'm just gonna not steal because you know, I don't want it. Anywho, guess we're done with that. You save. Okay, so now I have a working save. So I have a technically, so I have a ground zero save. I have a open world save, and I have my working save, which is this one. The permanent save for all things. Well, I have two permanent saves, now there's this one. Which will be my roaming save, I guess you could call it. So how does the map thing work again? Okay, yeah, let me, let me sell this crap. Maybe I'll get a better price for it somewhere else. I just want to see how much it's worth. 
And it's pretty obvious that the frame rate in this game sucks, as you can tell. It's probably in the 20s at best. Okay, so where do I sell crap? And I can't go in there. I'm gonna zoom in. Yep. Okay, Wayne and House. Wayne and Lodge. So I'll go a bit further in. Yeah, I'll just head inside. See if I can sell anything. Actually, you know what? Can I fast travel inside? <laughs> Oof. Wrong way. I gotta, I gotta manipulate these two controllers. It takes a while. Give me a second. Southgate. Yeah, we'll just go in there. We'll, we'll do things the quick way. <laughs> so while that's loading, so my to-do list is to sell all the crap that I have that's over-encumbering me for money. And then use the... Actually, I need a place to keep my crap. I don't know where to keep it. So now I have to figure out where to... Now I have to figure out where to hoard my crap. I'll just sell stuff for now. And then I'll just keep unimportant stuff in permanent containers. Containers that don't reset after a while. So maybe that priest's uh, treasure chest doesn't respawn. So that might be a safe place to keep stuff. I don't know. Because remember, this, in Skyrim, if you don't keep your stuff in a safe container, it will respawn after like, what, a couple of days in game time? Like a month, I think. So if you put like, you know, a bunch of important items in those chests, they'll disappear. <laughs> and that's not cool. Especially if you're a hoarder, which I shouldn't be doing, but, yeah. Okay, where's the shop? I need a freaking shop. Let's go to the map, why not, huh? Yeah. I can probably just sell stuff anywhere, right? Well, in a, in a shop, not a house. Dude, this music is sick, I'm serious. <laughs> Okay, Northern Goods and Trade, yes. So we gotta go east. East. Okay. So I'll see what the stuff's being sold for. It's gotta pretty fetch the next area. Oh, this is so adorable. Janky AF, that's how we used to play back in the day, kid. Alright, so it's right around here. Excuse me. Is this it? Just a second. There it is. It's south, southwest of here. So it's right over there. It might be closed is another possibility. Because, you know, everything has hours. You know, open and closing hours. Did I miss it? Ah, crap. Let me mark this. It's driving me. Yeah, I missed it. Gosh darn it. It's driving myself nuts. So I can only have one marker, huh? Oh, well. I can manipulate the markers by using quest markers. As I can use quest markers and create my own custom waypoint. I can't get in here, can I? Oh, duh. There we go. <laughs> that was a problem. Couldn't find the door. Sorry you had to see that. <laughs> Alright. Can I steal stuff? No, I probably won't. So nothing here I want. Hello. I don't think we've met. Oh, I'm not stealing anything. Uh, Argonian. Yeah, 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 Argonians. Yes, I am. Uh, rumors. mother. That's not a quest. You're supposed to give me a quest. Okay, so I guess I went in the wrong entrance. Sorry, I'm not stealing. Bye. Okay. So there isn't a smith here? We've already established that. Okay. 
Uh, persuade, barter, training. Uh, I don't have enough money. She's gonna teach me how to make money as a merchant. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen that in a store before. Okay, I'm supposed to be selling stuff. There we go, that's my crap. Okay, the wrist irons are weightless, I'm not gonna sell them. Uh, some of the stuff I'm gonna keep, but where's the heavy stuff? Actually, just a second, it's probably not potions. Oh, she can't, oh, that's right, she can't buy some items because she's a merchant, not an armorer. So that kind of thing. So let's be able to sort, I can't sort. Yeah, there I go. So that's how I can sort. So that's the only thing I have that's a, that weighs anything, huh? Actually, no, that's this. Just a second. That is my weight. Yeah. Let me try something. Yep, that's my weight. Okay. So maybe I can sell some of this stuff because I know it's going to be worthless. Like the, like the fatigue, restore, fatigue restore stuff. Don't care about that. So I'll sell that for gold and take the weight off my hands. I might end up selling these sorcery potions. Let's just sell a couple of them for now. That's part of the deal. Potion of Night Eye, yeah, uh, no. I always end up selling potions, they're so worthless. You could probably combine that with another potion, so I'll probably as well. Some of these are pretty useful, though, but weak pulling is potion. Yeah, I'm going to keep the healing potions for now, but at some point I'm going to need to use my magic spells instead. Yeah, I'm going to sell some of this crap. It's not worth much, but hey, I just, I just don't care about this stuff anymore. Okay, that's not too bad. I could sell this book. I guess I want to read it first. Let me read that first. Yeah, I, I don't care about these. They're just... I don't use magic spells like that. I prefer to use them myself instead of just whipping out scrolls that I almost never use ever. Bear pelt. Uh, it's so heavy. I'm about to sell it. I'll get some more later, I know. Actually, I can probably take it to a tanner, but I'll get some more belt. I, I, I can, I'll probably be able to find bear pelts later. I'm not going to worry too much about it. That's more than I usually pay. Isn't that worth two bucks? <laughs> two gold? Repair hammer, I'm probably going to need that later. This game has a durability system, doesn't it? Okay, I'll keep some of those for later. I've got plenty of, plenty of lock picks, and they're weightless, so I'm not going to complain. Okay, I'll bail. Oh, Mr. Tony sent you. Which reminds me. Okay, I'm not going to steal anything else. So, I gave her crap. And I got money. What's my inventory situation here, by the way? I use the left and right triggers. On the bottom of the screen, left and right triggers change these, these tabs. So, it's, I admit it's kind of confusing. And I have ten minutes left. So I'll be able to make this work. I still need to sell some crap, which means I need to put some of this stuff away. Let me go to the armory first and sell some of this heavy crap. And I can store the rest of it later. Okay, that's where I want to go. I got to, I got to figure out how this map system works. Your boy loves maps, but your boy loves a better interface even more. Although the uh, menus are a lot better than they are in Skyrim, at least when it comes to sorting through lots of items, as you just saw. I'm able to actually sort uh, the items based on their weights or their worth. You couldn't do that in Skyrim on the console version. You had to get, you had to use a mod to get that functionality in the PC version. At least that was in the, that was in the vanilla version of Skyrim. They might have changed that in a legendary remaster they did. Which is, a, which I'm, if I'm not mistaken, there's a free weekend for that on Steam this weekend. <laughs> so if you want, if you haven't played Skyrim's Legendary Edition before, you can play it. I technically don't own that version. I have. The vanilla version of Skyrim that I purchased at retail, if you can believe that. But Steam says I've already already owned it, so I guess if I wanted to download it, I could. <laughs> Be interesting to see how that works. But I prefer I prefer the older version because it just runs better on my older hardware. Just saying. Uh, don't want the bookstore. 
So where do I sell... Like, where's the smith? That's the tower. Well, let me explore a bit some more. Maybe there's another smith around here. Yeah, this is Choral, so technically there should be a smith around here. Yeah, right around there. It's right there on my uh, map, right? Yeah, right here. Yeah, the map's on the bottom on the bottom of the screen, right underneath my character. So there's supposed to be a map around there. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, this guy. What's this guy? That's, these are stables. I think these are stables. Let me check. The novice's light armor has to degrade faster. Okay. Uh, no. He has changed the subject. He turned on a dime a bit. I'll help. It's always nice to help. As Zeke the cat once said. See? Got another quest. Hello. Hey. Well, let's talk to her. An honor to serve you. I'm Imprint. Uh, rumors. Everyone's talking about the assassination of Morse. Uh, more rumors. Thanks, Dendar, for the chapel here in Morrow. Thanks, Dendar. Okay, we've already established that. We don't think much about what goes on in the Imperial Palace. I have a room ready if you need it. Nah. Very well. Yeah, I can just go back to the, what do you call it, the priori, whatever you call it, with the priest. Barter. I offer the finest goods and the lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Uh, Cyrodiil. Oh, never mind. I'm not, uh, I'm not up on the geography of Skyrim, or at least not on the, the geography of this game. Not yet, anyway. Uh, I thought this was, a, I guess, it's just a regular store. I need to go to the armory. Sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, ain't you the high Tom Titty? You want Wait, what? <laughs> Actually, I'm more of a swinging dick. Yeah. Hi, Tom. Hell of a warrior, though. Such a language. Yeah. I used to be fighters guild here in Coral. I'm something of a big deal. Some incarceration for trespassing and theft. You know they kick you out of the guild. Yeah. Leave me alone. Yeah, that's me, Richard Fungus. If I told you once, I told you a thousand times. I've never been the shame of. I. Apologies, my good friend. Excuse me, I believe you're drunk. Well, he already gave me the money, so... Yeah, he gave me the money. I could give it back to him, but he didn't ask for it back. So. I had to talk to him again, he didn't say anything, so... Yeah, whatever. So we just turn out the brightness on this game. It's really dark. In fact, I'll probably do that right now. Yeah, video, yeah, let's turn up that brightness. I should have done that earlier. That might be too bright. Well, at least I can see, so... You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> yeah, should have done that earlier. Well, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm going to have to make the adjustment later. So hopefully future videos won't look as dank. Okay. Gray Mare's been established. I need to go to, I need to go to the Smith. I don't know where the Smith is. So let's go to a Smith. I go east and north. How about that? Okay, how about I just go north? Uh, what's this? Fire and steel, yes. No, they're closed. I can always wait. I'll see. I'll just come back. 
What time is it anyway? 9.40. Darn it, it's 9.24. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's go to another town. Let's get all this. Oops. I gotta practice this map. <laughs> okay, so what else can we do? Brahma. Okay, so we'll go to this town, go to Bruma on the north get on the north side. And I'll see if there's a smith there. So I can sell all this crap. At least the heavy armor. Then I can have a bit more fun exploring. There was a bit of combat earlier by accident. Sorry about that. But <laughs> Alright, so let's see where I can go. I don't really like combat in Oblivion anyway. I'm just curious where I can go and what I can do. And here comes the jank. <laughs> We're after a roaring start, aren't we? Nope, they're closed. What time is it? It's midnight. Today's your lucky day, so let's hear it. What do you want? You you talk to me. <laughs> just saying, you started this. Right. Good day. Yeah. Well, it's fine. It's not that stereotypical. Well, everything's closed, so I guess the question that was the uh actually that was the Yeah, that was the armory, wasn't it? Maybe not. There's the Mages Guild, so I guess I can do that, but they might be closed too. Yeah, let's get hammered at the hammer and axe, but they're probably close. It's probably not even. It's probably not a bar. It's probably just. A, it's probably just a store. Okay, so I hose myself again. So I'm gonna have to change. Okay, let me switch towns again. Yeah, I had to ch ch shit Shaden Hall. Shit, Shadenhall. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to somebody in town. They'll tell me how to say it. <laughs> Shadenhall. Yeah, Shadenhall. Well, that's my guess, anyway. Yeah, Shadenhall. You know, someday, someone in, like, Gaithersburg or Bethesda or Germantown is going to create a subdivision where all the streets are named after towns and cities and in Oblivion games. Oblivion and Skyrim. Okay, this place is closed. What time is it? It's 5 o'clock, so I'll hang around here. I'll look for a shop, and then when it opens, I'll peep it. I'll pop inside. How about that? Machina. Books. Wow. Books. Borba's goods and stores. So we'll make this work. I don't think I can sell anything here. Just a place to rest my head. Been down uh, Alright, where's that map? Not as big a town, but let's see. In. Lodge. Goods, okay. There might not be a smith here. Which I guess isn't awful. It's just gotta keep it in mind if I'm gonna explore anymore. Here's a march rider. So I'm trying not to break into anything. I just want to see what's open and what's not. Ah, the Fighters Guild. Outstanding. 